Happy Halloween. Admit it. If they didn't release something on Halloween Day for Halloween Kills, you would have been disappointed. Happy Halloween, guys, and to celebrate the occasion, the people behind Halloween Stabby Stabby released the first footage of the movie with some behind-the-scenes extras that really actually gives us a lot of details to what's going on in this movie. What I'm gonna be doing here for you is breaking down the footage, showing you things you might have missed, and really just celebrating Halloween the way we should with a Halloween movie. One thing I absolutely love though, I literally came home because I went to go get this new pop that was released today at Hot Topic. It's the pop from Halloween H2O. I love the photo they used on the back. But now let me put you here and let's talk some Halloween. So the first thing we wanna look at here, it starts off with a time lapse of the burning house that we got at the end of Halloween 2018. We have director David Gordon Green there, obviously being a director, yelling things like cut. That's what directors do. Or maybe he's telling Michael what to do. Right here, it's super hard to make out, especially with this Twitter quality that they put it out on. But it looks here like someone in costume looking in the streets of Haddonfield. I feel like this is maybe a cheerleading outfit, like with a pom-pom in her hand. Really hard to make out. But our first oh yeah of this is a shot of our Tommy Doyle in this movie, played by Michael Hall. This is the same Tommy Doyle that Laurie Strode babysat back in the original 1978 Halloween movie. Both him and the little girl Lindsay Wallace will be showing up in this movie decades later to finish off Michael. If you're looking at him right here, he looks very angry and looks like he's on a mission to stop somebody. My best guess here is that he probably heard that Michael is in the hospital after the events of Halloween 2018 and is showing up with a bat to finish him off. I don't know why he wouldn't show up with a gun or maybe a knife, but a bat will do just fine. If you watch my previous video, we have an exclusive insider who we call our Loomis of the channel. He's someone who is working closely with the Halloween Kills production and is feeding us information. And one of the details he gives us is that Michael Myers is going to get his hands on that bat and go around batting people. So I think Michael's going to have to get his hands on Tommy Doyle to get that bat off of him. So we'll see what happens there. Next shot right here. This has to be the hospital. It just has that blue atmosphere like he's sitting on a stretcher or a hospital bed. I don't know why they wouldn't take the knife away from him. Or this could be his body lying in the rubble from the end of Halloween 2018 because I would think if he's in the hospital they would take that knife away from him and this might be him finally coming back to life because we know Michael can't stay dead. Pretty hard to make out but I'm thinking this right here is Lindsay Wallace. So we just got a peek of Tommy Doyle and this will be grown up Lindsay Wallace. Looks like she has a daughter of her own. Just again adding more people to this Michael Myers family who knows if the daughter will be an essential character but she's definitely here somebody coming up behind her from the way she turns around and then our first real look of michael myers now this definitely looks like a hospital setting that looks like one of the curtains they put over the window you have a chair there to sit down and it looks right beside him that's some medical equipment if not i'm very curious to find out where michael is right now because he's in full outfit right now and i don't see that many burn marks which we were all hoping he would have some sort of burn marks at least on the mask from what happened at the end of halloween 2018 right here not much to look at again like i said david gordon green doing his director duties but if you look in the background this this is an old car and you have a man dressed in old 70s clothes. There are some flashback scenes that are going to be happening in this movie. One thing right here to point out, the working title of this movie. So the working title of the movie is just what they call the film while it's in production and it's usually a hint to something going on in the film. If you look at the working title, it's Mob Rules. One, I absolutely love how they went with this Disney font that makes it look like the 101 Dalmatians logo. Even the words on top that I think say David Gordon Green are made out in those Disney letters. Really funny, I love that because this ain't no Disney movie. But I mentioned before, the reason this is called Mob's Rules is because this movie will deal with everyone who has encountered Michael and has survived to tell the story. I, as of right now, call them the Haddonfield Nine. Here is a photo of all the surviving members that will be showing up. These are all people who have had a one-in-one -one encounter with Michael and have survived, and now the trauma left behind from facing the boogeyman is gonna drive them crazy in the same way Laurie Strode went crazy all these years anticipating 
to fight Michael. One of the people on the Haddonfield 9 list is Lonnie. You might remember him from the 1978 movie. He was the kid who bullied Tommy Doyle, always making fun of him that the Boogeyman was coming out to get him. Well, in the current canon movies, which is only Halloween 1978 and Halloween 2018, Lonnie never got face to face with Michael. They're going to retcon that in flashback scenes with Halloween kills and have Lonnie come face to face with Michael and survive. This scenes will be taking place after Michael gets shot down from the Halloween 1978 movie where Loomis shoots him off the balcony and then he runs off coming in contact with Lonnie before police come and arrest him to take him away to the asylum where he'll spend the next decades of his life until he's ready to fight Lori again. Right here we have Allison fully prepared with what looks like a rifle in her hand. She must know where Michael is or know that one of her friends is in danger and is coming to save them. Now one interesting thing to know here this is obviously Karen in a hospital. You can kind of see the reflection of somebody she is visiting. Very hard to make out who that is. No way that's her husband. It looks like a much older person. It could be Lori. And it has been some time because she is wearing Christmas attire and well, that's not really in season around the Halloween time. It would be very interesting if they do it where both Michael and Lori are in a coma and they happen to wake up on the same day next year on Halloween. That would be kind of poetic. But like I said, I've always wanted to see a Halloween movie take place on Christmas because I would love to see Michael walking in some snow, slashing and dripping blood everywhere. I think that'd be really cool. But then again, these movies are called Halloween, so it'll most likely take place on Halloween, especially since a lot of the shots we've gotten already still contain Halloween decorations. With this next shot here, I can't make out who this character is. It could just be a random civilian. Michael is known to do some Grand Theft Auto and steal cars. So this could be after he's woken up from the hospital or injured from his night of Halloween 2018 and is looking for a ride to escape. Now again, I think this is confirmation that the movie will take place around Halloween again, probably Halloween the next year. We have a person in costume with a gun. Can't make out who this character is doesn't look all that familiar if anybody can figure out who this is i would love to know but she has a gun so she could be a police officer might even be allison trying to move on with her life and go to a costume party but in the next scene we get an idea of who she's shooting at we have michael here throat gripping lindsey wallace this might be the vehicle he was trying to break into and these could just be random civilians but i gotta believe that's lindsey wallace with that black hair it really does just resemble her and again no noticeable changes to the costume of this halloween movie i'm starting to think more and more that we're not going to get a melted mask on him which is fine a lot of people like the way the masks look and they wouldn't like it to get ruined also if that mask did get ruined I don't know where he would pick up another one. It would be really weird if stores in Haddonfield were selling this Michael Myers mask with how iconic it is with the murders in the town. But the big OMG shot that finally answers the question once and for all how did Michael Myers escape at the end of Halloween 2018? So we know he was locked away in that bunker. We had a jail cell there. Lori saw him trying to get burnt up. There was even a cutaway scene back to that basement where Michael was missing. And right here we have our answer. Looks like somewhere in that bunker, Michael found himself an ax. You have it in his hands right there. That is way too long to be his kitchen knife or a machete. That's definitely an ax and he must have chopped his way out through one of the doors or even the doorway where the bars are. And now I know you can't chop through metal, but the surrounding area of those bars was wood. I think Michael is smart enough to know the weak points and get out because he walks out right through the front porch. This might be how Halloween Kills opens up. What a fantastic way to see how Michael gets out. And I don't think this is a cheap out because I think it's very reasonable to assume Lori would have an ax down there. She just has all these other weapons. It would make sense that she has that and didn't anticipate Michael to go ahead and use that stuff. The man is just known to use a kitchen knife, not an ax. What I do wonder is you see some water falling down. I don't remember it raining at the end of Halloween 2018. So that could mean they're already firemen right there and now trying to put out the fire. And you can just imagine Michael swinging his axe at some of the firemen in this movie. From there, we're treated to another shot of Michael in someone's bathroom. I mean, the guy's still human. He's got to potty every now and then. He'll just probably end up killing that person because they caught him not washing his hands. Nasty boy. But in all seriousness, this is the cleanest look we get to the mask. And it looks unharmed. It looks just the way it did in Halloween 2018, maybe with some blood splatters on it. So I don't think we're going to get anything close to a melted mask in this movie. Ending it off with Laurie Strode herself, Jamie Lee Curtis, wishing us a happy Halloween. This is her arriving to the hospital from the injuries she suffered at the end of Halloween 2018. She's obviously going to make it out and will be well enough to continue on with this movie. But it still begs the question. 
question, will this still be the same night of Halloween of 2018, or will they jump forward one more year, two more years? How long is Lori in recovery? Because apparently she was only shooting on set for Halloween Kills for a few days. I'm not saying she's going to die right away, because I think they're going to save that for Halloween ends. But it could be that Lori might be in a coma or in the hospital resting for the majority of this movie, while the other cast members come out to try and take some of the spotlight to take care of Michael. So you guys see this footage. What do you think about it? Was this a nice little treat for Halloween day? I'm very happy with it. It's got me so excited and it answers the question of how Michael got out of that basement because we've all been wondering how he did it. And, and I think that's a good answer if that's the way they choose to explain it. But let me know what you guys think. If there's anything you caught that I missed, go ahead and let me know down below. Be sure to like and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter at 3C Film Review. As always, I'm Chris. Take care.